It is Giving Tuesday today, and we wanted to look at the state of giving in our area. Now, with the price of goods and services so high, are people still reaching deep into their pockets to give and donate? News 3 reporter Ellen Ice has that answer. Groceries are more expensive. Housing is more expensive. Our electric bills are more expensive. Inflation. It's hitting all of our pockets. But what about those who rely solely on donations? Matthew Stern with Help Inc. says they're suffering. On top of not getting as many donations, we're also seeing more need come to the door. Last night alone, 30 people slept in their winter shelter. What we're looking at here is the main room where our meals happen. That's 30 mouths to feed, 30 bodies to keep warm, and that comes at a price. Everything has to be stretched a little thinner. Here at Legacy of Hope Foundation, it's a similar story. They fed 125 families for Thanksgiving, meaning their supply of canned goods and other items is low. It's been a rough year. It's been a, a challenging year. Executive Director Teresa Lassiter showed me around their renovated building. This is where we're getting ready for Christmas. But they still have a long ways to go. They provide clothes. Every Wednesday, people can come out and get free clothing. Food and youth programs. Last year, the Legacy of Hope helped 200 families. This year, we're over 500 families. So the need is definitely there. But the money isn't. Donations have not been as we would have hoped. Like nearly everyone, she's re-examining her budget. And like her nonprofit's name, she has hope. And sometimes people think that $5 or $10 is not enough, but every little bit helps. On the Peninsula, Ellen Ice, News 3.